<laughs> I've gotten called out for a fake ID before and it said that I was from Florida. <laughs> for some reason, I had just memorized it the day of, but apparently this guy was from Florida. <laughs> so I was no. Oh. I was I got like man titties and my dick don't work no more. <laughs> no, I'm like, I don't like Say that. Say it like that. Is that better? <laughs> That's good. good. What if I whisper it? I got man titties and my dick don't work no more. <laughs> Look, we, we don't know what we're doing. That's the beauty and problem with YouTube. Nobody knows what's going on. We're all just adapting. I think I might be more depressed than I've ever been. And I beat myself up when I'm alone and everything. And I'm like, I'm fighting. Just honestly, like, fighting for my life. Oh my God. Keith, what are you doing? Ah! Ah! Yep, that was good for everyone to hear. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the uh, to the thirty second podcast, Smoshcast podcast. Did you say thirty second? Yeah. Wow. So we're doing this in thirty seconds. Yep. <laughs> the thirty second podcast. Get everything you want out right now, Keith. <laughs> okay. Can I just start by saying, like, with Michael Jackson? Can we just go straight into it? <laughs> Let's see. You got thirty seconds. Thirty seconds to talk about Michael. I just want to say. Uh, the I'll give you more. I'll give you more time to Do talk give about me Michael. <laughs> okay. Do I didn't even. I didn't even say who is here. Who's here? Here today. <laughs> oh, Noah. <laughs> Noah Grossman. <laughs> <laughs> and Olivia Sway. <laughs> Hi, Olivia Sway. You look different. Yeah, hell yeah. We switched it up. Uh, and uh, real quick, shout out to Honey for sponsoring today's episode. Woo! Woo! I, I know you're you're eager to redeem yourself from uh, redeem myself. The last the last time you were here. What do you mean redeem myself? And I don't know. Um, I don't. I'm not sure. What was the public response to the last time that it's redemption? I have no idea. It was just ugly all around. Yeah, I thought as someone who was here the whole time, I thought it was really fun. It was. This is a fun situation, guys. I mean, this is entertainment for you guys, but this is serious, you know? Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson is, like, dead, but he's, like, turning over in his grave. Y'all got to realize, first of all, let's just say, I just wanted to start off by saying uh, if you guys heard about the Leaving Neverland or whatever, it was complete bullshit. <laughs> uh, the Michael Jackson estate just won a um, a legal battle with HBO, and I am here. To, like, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, like, yeah, some yeah. of just the, the the cracks in the case, the cracks. Well, the case. It wasn't even a case. The cracks in the documentary. I mean, it was just bullshit. And I'm just glad that the Jackson estate are like getting their money and, you know, they're just due because to, you know, I just, I know that guy's just turning over. That's so mm. bad. You came, you came ready to fire. Oh, for sure. For Michael Jack, do y'all understand who he is to me? I don't know who he is. I understand oh. who he is to you. What is, who is Michael Jackson to me, Noah? Please tell me. Um, so Keith would only ever draw two people his entire life, and Keith is a great artist. He would draw himself, and he would draw Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Maybe there were others here and there, but I have heard him repeatedly tell me that and do it. Like, I, I've watched you draw for the last five years, and you either draw yourself or Michael Jackson. True. And I send you pictures of Michael Jackson here mm -hmm. and there, which mm -hmm. is like, I, like, I am, like, beyond a fan. I am, like, a crazy person. <laughs> You're a defender. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. For yeah, sure. I'm not. I'm not educated. Thank you. Yeah, I'll defend you. Thank you. I'll defend all y'all in here. All y'all in here. I will defend y'all. Thank you. At all costs, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, so it's it's very clear. You're a fan of Michael Jackson. No. Nah. You love him. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is too. Uh oh. Okay, uh -oh. I'm not saying. Okay, what's mm. gonna come? Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's, well, because I was trying. To, I was trying to think. I was trying to think of a. I was trying to think of a scenario of of how far would your love for Michael Jackson go? Oh, okay. And because I was thinking Michael Jackson to you is like a god, right? I wouldn't say he's a god. I'm just. I'm. I really appreciate his work. Okay. Is that <laughs> I mm -hmm. like I like it a lot. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> like yeah, maybe. But like I don't want to say that. But yeah, maybe. I guess. When you yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. Mm -hmm. I had to just go through the whole mm -hmm. okay, where do I spend my really time? Good. Who do I think about? Uh -huh. That is definitely a godlike figure. Mm -hmm. So they <laughs> <laughs> So they sued HBO for for like tarnishing his name or whatever pretty much something like that i don't know the the logistics they, i don't they sued hbo because when he did in the 90s a, a uh, concert on hbo in the contract it said you can never disparage michael jackson <laughs> 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 it's, it's something that's up to creepy 
has that contract set up. Someone who's not doesn't worry about it. Oh, yeah. oh no. Okay. So you they, should get on this. You should get on you the know, mic. You know, I should start. I should start putting. I should start putting contracts in. Like, if you come into this building, you can't ever disparage me. See, but that's the thing. Like, Michael Jackson was that big. Like, he could. Like, he was coming up with the contracts. Mm-hmm. Like, the way I feel like a lot of companies they come up with them for you. Mm-hmm. I feel like he comes to you like, yo, this is what it is. This is how we gonna work. I okay. don't. Yeah. I don't disagree. But I will say, like, when we worked at Defy, like that was that was in my Defy contract. That was like a non-negotiable section in the Defy contract that you couldn't disparage the the company that you work for. See, he got or your own to hide personal too. image. Yeah. No, there's no. I mean, <laughs> Defy definitely had stuff to hide, and they hid it from all of us. <laughs> but my point is, is that it's definitely like shady, and mm-hmm. it's shady, and a lot of people do that. But it's not shady. I'm not, like, think, that's the thing. I think Justin Bieber, I like, involved. I think, I think they do something similar. Everybody does that, where it's Everybody like, does if that, you guys. go to meet him, like, they take away your phone. Mm-hmm. You have to, like, sign a contract so mm-hmm. you can't talk about anything that mm-hmm. happened here. It's Justin here. Bieber. Okay, for example, Olivia was with her friend at, like, somewhere, and Justin Bieber, they were all at a table together. Olivia's always in the end circle. I mm-hmm. don't know how she gets there, but, mm-hmm. like, I just want to go to, like, a dinner with her. She went to, like, some meeting, and her friend was there with her. Uh, Justin Bieber happened to be at the table, and they're all just like sitting talking you know she's like he's a really nice guy he's chilling you could tell he's trying to have a good time this was like a few years ago one of her like friends not really her friend but somebody that she knows tried to take a picture and the flash went off y'all oh my god amateur oh like terrible but justin bieber is like yeah like (laughs) (laughs) good job like yeah don't do that it's just like isn't that sickening? But, like, come on. Like, I mean, if you are around people and people want something out of you all the time, like, I would put that to you yeah. in, like, some yeah. contracts. I mean, a lot I of rich should. people don't don't uh, don't have sex without a contract. Whoa. Thought I'd put that in. Just because. I've, I've, uh, I've heard about rich people having, um, like, beauty contracts for their wives that oh if, they, if they get fat. They are not entitled to like any money if they get divorced. Oh, that's just a misogynist. Yeah, that's yeah. a rude up. human being. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you're, I, I'd imagine when when you're that level of a disgusting kind of like billionaire guy, you probably view everything as an object. See, but well, but I would hope that a contract is mutually. To some degree, so like I in that, it her is, exit I think clause it is would mutual. have to be like, if you get mm-hmm. man titties and no. your dick don't work no <laughs> yeah, more, yeah. I get to leave with the money. You know, like yeah. that's how it would Please work. Please not say man titties and dick don't work no more <laughs> together. I, I got like man that. titties and my dick don't work no more. <laughs> no, I'm like, I don't like say that. it like that. Is that better? <laughs> that's good. good. What if I whisper? Just it? don't. Just ASMR or whatever. I got man titties and my dick don't work no more. <laughs> <laughs> that one's worse because it's like, how did they get so close without me realizing? I'm gonna hurts. make I'm gonna make that my dating profile. No. <laughs> man, titties and, and dick, dick don't, don't work, work no that more. That might actually work for you, dude. Maybe people maybe. think you're just being super funny until they like get in the bedroom with you and they're like, oh, you're really honest. Yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. Hold on, but back to what you said. You said like rich men. I know someone that I just met when I was in New York. I took a trip to New York recently, like a few months ago, and I had to do some work out there. And I ended up hanging out with my friends for like longer than I actually had to work. I just said, "Yo," I told my team, I said, "Yo, can I fly out like at you know like a like a week later than what I'm supposed to?" Yeah. I had some of the best time in my life. Like some just like just awakening, just like I, I started. I had a stylist, my homeboy Matthew. He styles me now, and he just what? like started like giving me some like great clothes and stuff, and like I dress how I feel right now. But to go back into what you were saying, this one guy, uh, not a rich guy, black guy, he's dating this uh, this white lady. They live in Seattle or whatever. I don't want to put too much out there, but uh, pretty <laughs> much met him. Like really great person, but we all started started talking about prenups and just different things, and yeah. he honestly kind of said that like if you know like in the prenup like why shouldn't it be a point a point to not have your like your girl like gain weight if she gains weight like it can be over and you don't have to like pay i'm like whoa like this is where your (laughs) mind is bro like is this serious and like everybody started getting heated and you know like people started using the word policing women and that is not like just the police you know it got to the point he was like but who am i not to police i said okay brother like (laughs) do you like the police your damn self (laughs) yeah okay the word police just does not sound good for this situation nobody Mm -hmm. should be policing their woman their 
their their man, their anything. Like it was sickening. It was a sickening conversation. But the guy was actually really cool. But he wasn't rich. I think he's like work. I don't want to say where he's working, but he's doing really good things. <laughs> yeah, interesting. He's mm-hmm. got levels that I would argue are like actually insane. Mm-hmm. That's an insane opinion. Like I that's mean, an opinion of like someone who is not applying to others what they apply to themselves. I think that's the thing. It's got to be it's got to be mutually agreed upon. So, I could understand that if if it go if it also applies to you as well. Mm. Like, okay, like cuz mm-hmm. I I think it comes down to like taking care of yourself. Like if if we're talking about like okay, yeah, you put on weight. I mean, everybody's, you know, metabolism slows down or hey, you might get injured or hey, mm. yeah. you know, you might go through some kind of illness and you put on weight whatever. But if it's just like a sheer fact that you just like aren't trying, mm. then I mean that's that's also just like a character thing. Like, yeah, but that's just... already grounds to not be with someone. Is because like yeah, exactly. oh we're going in different directions. So yeah. Like mm-hmm. that is actually insane to like even put something like a contract with yeah. terms like that yeah. above someone's head because that's not a relationship. That's <laughs> yeah. immediately like a f-ing teacher and a it's, student and there's yeah. some homework. And not only that, that's women like gain so much weight yeah. like after like having a baby too, sure. you know, and it's just like, it's difficult. Like I've seen like certain friends like that's they- also just messed up. It's, it's so you, messed up. Imagine, like don't like, put women in that position. Like do not. Like, can do you imagine not. he's like, he's like, oh, you're two pounds. You're getting, you're, you're almost <laughs> yeah, two pounds yeah. there. Whoa. You better hurry up. Do you, I don't think he like, I don't think he would police that much, but he's He's definitely like, but watching. he'll definitely write the contract <laughs> to those he'll, terms. He's like the cool police that every now and again he like writes a ticket. Yeah. He's like, okay, I'm gonna let you off this time, but next time, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna have to deal with some. Like, we might go to the to the courthouse and get a divorce. That happened yeah. to me on Christmas you almost got Eve. Got a divorce? No, not a divorce. Me, me getting passed on a ticket. Oh, really? That happened to me on Christmas Eve. Yeah, Good it was Lord. so great. You know what? That must be so great to be white and driving, get yes. left. You, you know want to know mean? what happened? So it was Christmas Eve uh, and and Christmas Day. Or no, it was the 23rd and it was going, it was the morning of the 24th. Mm. And my girlfriend and I were going somewhere with family and she needed a dress, but she had forgot it. So I had to drive her to her apartment. Got you. And I'd come back from set pretty late. I took a nap and then we drove, but I was still super tired. It was probably like 3 a.m. when I was going. And I was like, all right, I just want to go and come back. So the speed limit's 65. I'm probably going like 72. Mm -hmm. And so a cop pulled me over and he pulled me over and he was like, all right, have you had anything to drink? Like, why are you out this late? And I'm like, no, I just need to get my girlfriend's dress. What if he would have said yes? (laughs) Yes, yes, officer. Yes, officer, you called me (laughs) red-handed. Yeah. No, but he was like, I'm still going to have you step out and do a sobriety test. And I was like, okay. Like, there's no problems. I'm going to pass it. But I was so nervous that I wasn't going to pass it. See, that's the thing. Everybody's (laughs) nervous in those situations. And they also try to make you not pass it. Like, one guy had me following his finger while the other guy had a flashlight in my eyes going in and out and in and out. And I was like, before I even started, I was like, I am scared. And they were like, it's okay. Just do what we tell you. But in the end, it was all okay. I passed. They didn't give me a ticket. Were they nice to you at least? Yeah, I mean, I would say intimidating for sure. Yes, Got they you. they were. I yes, they they did not frighten me more than they did with their presence. Mm, if that makes sense, see, that was it. That should not be the vibe. Well, I mean, I think it is because they have guns, and also if you know they wanted to, they could take my car away by like being like, "Oh, you're too tired," or like, "Oh, you didn't walk this line right." Like, you can't. You have to step out of your vehicle. And you, have to you get are a one clumsy mother. Later. Shut your mouth. So like, <laughs> <laughs> like you probably would do better drunk. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good oh, Lord. Don't don't say that. <laughs> like honestly, don't do it. But like he probably would. Mm-hmm. He probably would. Yeah. I, I did I'm, that here this morning. <laughs> I always feel guilty about things for no reason. Like I remember like back when back when I was like. A few years after turning 21, every time I was asked for my ID, like when I was buying alcohol, I was always like nervous. I was I was always like afraid that I was like looking guilty, like it was a fake ID. And mm-hmm. I never used a fake ID. Like I never tried to buy alcohol before I was 21. Uh, and I turned 21 and, you know, was buying alcohol. And every time I'd give them my ID and I'd be like a little nervous that they're going to like bust me. Mm-hmm. Oh, good Lord. So I feel like I'm in the same situation if I was ever pulled out for a sobriety Like test. you honestly, mm-hmm. like on a scale of one to 10, how bad do you, how bad would you feel? What? Like just like buying alcohol, like when you were twenty one. <laughs> oh, I was just nervous. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, because I I just thought like somehow they would think it was a fake ID or something. Oh my mm. god! I don't know. Good mm. lord, I could not wait to turn twenty one and use my ID. I'm yeah. like, yo, look at this. <laughs> look, <laughs> I'm twenty one, bitch. <laughs> I can drink. <laughs> not outside though. I'll get in trouble. And we're gonna take a quick break. 
Ever buy something online, then find out you could have gotten it for less? It's worse than getting a middle seat on an airplane, and we all know how much that sucks. Not to mention, once that happens, you feel like you could be overpaying every time you shop. Luckily, there's Honey, the free browser extension that saves you time and money when shopping online. Honey scans the internet for coupon codes and other discounts, then like magic, brah, it automatically applies with the biggest savings to your cart at checkout. And it knows about every coupon code, sale, or discount at over 20,000 sites like Amazon, Macy's, J.Crew, Domino's, Sephora, Target, and more. Listen, there's, there's no reason to not use Honey. It's free to use and installs on your computer in just two clicks. You like, click Honey, click install, boom. So get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash smosh. That's joinhoney.com slash smosh. Now back to these lovely boys. I've gotten called out for a fake ID before. Really? Yeah, I was... Uh, uh, Got you. Yeah, I was using a fake ID, and it said that I was from Florida. <laughs> and oh my god, I can't yeah. believe you just said that. Well, yeah, I'm I, I'm of legal age to to do everything now, I guess, that you can legally do. But at the time, <laughs> I had a fake ID. At this specific time, I guess I won't mention the time. I, now you're making me feel nervous. You're making me feel nervous because I knew you had one. Yeah, yeah, I <laughs> did. I, you are putting me in a, the hot seat right now. He okay. did not have a fake ID, and I did not know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so I was buying uh, alcohol from a liquor store, and the guy, uh, and I'm 20, by the way. I was 20 at the time. Oh, okay. Uh, so you were almost. Yeah, yeah, I was almost 21. He called me out, and he asked me for my address, where I was, and I from Florida, and for some reason, I had just memorized it the day of. I was like, you know what? This would be weird if, like, for some reason, this guy asked me. So I memorized it enough where, like, I passed, but I probably didn't look like I know, but apparently this guy was from Florida. <laughs> so I was. No. I was. He Were asked you me in immediately. Hollywood? No, I wasn't in Hollywood. This was in the Valley. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, what's the weather like in March? <laughs> <laughs> no, even worse. He was like, if I'm going from, uh, what was it? Is is uh, is Destin a place? I feel like he said Destin. He was like, if I'm going from <laughs> Destin to Tampa, which interstate will I take? What an ass. Yeah. You I looked said, at him. I don't drive. Oh, I said you were a driver on there too. Yes, it oh, did. I yes, because he was That's asking me. So well, because funny. the the first defense is he asks me why <laughs> I have a Florida ID if I'm in California, mm. and I said, oh, I'm out here for school. He was uh, a damn police. But I still have, you know, my other ID, some <laughs> like that. And he was like, okay, so what interstate do you take if you're going uh. from Destin to Tampa? I didn't know, so I said. Uh, what did I say? I think I picked like three, something like that. I picked a very low uh. number because I felt like maybe the interstate started on the East Coast and came out here. So I was like, maybe the numbers are low. No. I don't remember what he said to me, but I think I said three and it might have been like seven. <laughs> <laughs> but there was no way that I was going to guess which I think interstate. You actually, I think you actually got it opposite. opposite? Interstates start... Um, interstates start at the low numbers on the, on the West Coast. Really? And, and they go, go to the up. high? Yeah. Oh, I was uh, so oh. sure. That's why we have I-5. Oh. And I think Hawaii has one, Highway 1. That Hawaii makes a has lot the of first sense. one? No, wait, no, we have Highway 1. So wow. Hawaii has Highway 0. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii has boats. Yeah, no, so yeah, our, our sorry. Damn, I was completely knowledge. the opposite. So you could have just guessed, like, I don't know, 60. 2000. <laughs> 2000, yeah. 2000. <laughs> <laughs> that is the road I take. I, I oh, love Lord. that. I love that you tried, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're just like, uh, <laughs> six. At this point, I definitely had to. It was more fun. I was like, I'm definitely screwed, but let's do it. Did he take your ID? No. Okay, no. but somebody ended up taking your ID one time. Yeah, when I tried to get in, what? Did, oh, when I tried to get in to see Jaden Smith when he played at the Roxy, they <laughs> took it from me. Um, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you were going to see Jaden. Yeah, no, one day. So it was like his, I guess, his first concert off of like his new album, like the <laughs> the new Jaden Smith. It was his first concert. So I bought like three tickets and. Yeah, that was it. I went there. He screamed a lot on stage. He did a lot of moonwalking, and my ID got taken. <laughs> that was it. And I could still go in. And the worst part is I didn't know. I wasn't planning on drinking. I drove, but I thought it was 21 plus. It was oh my 18 God. plus. Can we make this? Hold on. Can I just <laughs> so say you this? Got, you got your got ID taken. taken, but you got to go in. <laughs> yeah, because really it was 18 funny. plus. Guys, can we make this a thing? I want you to meet Jaden Smith. Yeah? I really want you to get an experience to go to his concert. What's a good hashtag for this? Like, I don't know. I know a lot of people that... Know him? No, Jaden Smith. Like that matters. Really? Jesus Christ. Yeah, you suck for <laughs> yeah, saying that. You know, know that. what? I don't. I, want I wanted you to... to die right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never mind, guys. I was yeah. gonna come up with a hashtag. I don't know. I I don't know what we'd talk about. I feel like both of us would just kind of sit there. 
No, it's not like not necessarily talk, but like just like go to It'd a concert cool. or something. It would you be really cool. Just out on an experience. No, he went. No, he I went. still went. Oh, oh, there's just a security. Yeah, yeah. I just got taken. It was 18 plus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why did, you, why did you show the fake one? <laughs> because I thought it was 21 plus. No, you showed the fake one to the, the, the people at the bar. <laughs> no, to the people walking in. But they asked should, for my ID and I showed, showed them the, the fake one. Why would you do that? Because I didn't know. Oh my God. <laughs> You're the yeah. only person to get your ID taken and still get into the place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously, because I was like, oh my God, really? And he was like, yeah, dude, I'm taking this. I was like, and I can't have it back. He's like, no. And I was like, dang. So what am I gonna do? And he's like, still go in. And I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> all did, right. Did, did you did you show did you show him the the real one? Uh, uh yeah, but it didn't <laughs> it didn't matter. Like, <laughs> I came in with a fake one. Like, I'm obviously like he can let me in. I just can't buy the alcohol. Like it's uh, fine. He doesn't care. Yeah, I'm just not doing anything illegal in uh, there. Concert without alcohol. There's some places that are incentivized um, to take fake IDs to get paid. Really? Mm -hmm. By whom? I think the county. Oh, probably. like to take them and turn them in. I thought yeah. you meant like take them as in let them in. Like there was some like evil <laughs> no. man. AKA like... snitches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So Keith, you've, you've, um, you've made some changes in your life? Oh yeah, I have actually. Not as much as people think. Uh, like I've been trying to get a lot more healthy. I've been trying to go on hikes because like I do have a lot more free time yeah. and I see that I am starting to gain weight. I'm 27 years old now. Uh, don't tell nobody but God, but I'm 27 <laughs> years old and weight is sticking to me like never before. 27 is the turning point. That's that's the that's the final dying gasp of our metabolism. So let me just say this. So I, I went, uh, I weighed myself. I didn't even know like one of my roommates has like a scale in the bathroom and I never weigh myself. I don't really, I weigh myself, but like not that often. Mm -hmm. And I happened to look over and I was like, Okay, let me just weigh myself. Let me see where I'm at because I'm my weight fluctuates. You know what I'm saying? It just say up and down, up and down. So I ended up weighing myself, and I was like 140 or 141. I can't remember. My memory's not that good anymore. <laughs> and uh, like by the next week or the week after that, I want to say I was 145, and I had started hiking. I had started like doing, you know, like a couple push-ups, <laughs> like not oh. like just a few, just a few, like 10, 20 here, yeah. 30 if I'm feeling real nice. Nice. But I've been doing that, but like. Like to gain weight, I know it's not muscle. Like I know it's not muscle. <laughs> so like I, I also have to eat healthier, mm -hmm. and I just I honestly have to like honest like just monitor what I eat, what I do, what I drink. I can't drink beers as much. Y'all know I love a free beer at Kitchen Twenty Four. Mm -hmm. uh, I shouldn't have said that. You guys are gonna <laughs> find me there. I'm going after this. <laughs> Good lord! But like uh like dead ass, y'all. Like I I looked at the the the, the scale the the next two weeks or so and. I like weighed 145 and that scared me because I was like, yo, I'm actually trying to like take, you know, precaution and just like, you know, yeah. wait it out. Yeah. Dang. Drinking's a big one, man. Mm -hmm. It's it, that, that'll that catch up for also sure. Also the right it, it caught me. <laughs> <laughs> it caught. I'm starting to get like on my sides right here, yo. I'm starting oh, to Oh, you get, got the love handles? Like beyond side, my mom calls them side items. <laughs> <laughs> I got side uh, items, but they also got some dents in them. And I'm like, well, damn, I ain't never had no dents. Like potholes everywhere. They some little wow. cute ones. <laughs> this like kind of like a beanie baby. You know how like when you touch it, it's just yes. like the little like thingies in there. That's how like, my side items are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got something to hold on to. Mm -hmm. But I've definitely been like working out. I'm going hiking after this is why I'm dressed like this. I'm very, you know, like comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, get you a shirt. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like I'll get you a shirt. This is this is you fun. gotta you gotta get the slush cult um, merch before it's all gone. Mm -hmm. The collab, it's good. It's really good. This shirt's actually incredibly like comfy. This material is super nice. Mm -hmm. I don't know about this that. Is, this that is the last to. limited edition, um, <laughs> which is fresh. super dope, but the hat is awesome. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a straight-up custom yeah. stitch. It's just, what is this called? The five panel? Except I don't know how many uh, panels. Oh, my camp, camp hat. Camp I like hat? how this yeah. turned into a commercial, and it's not about me anymore. Sorry. It's okay. Get your stuff, though. Get your, get your, get, 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 get your merch. Smash that store. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Back uh, to you, Keith. But definitely um, just like trying to watch myself. And the funny thing is, like people think that I'm better. Uh, Ryan was talking to Olivia. Um, recently and he was like yo like how's Keith and he's asking her questions and she's like yo he's like healthier he seems happier and guys I am fighting so hard for my happiness you know what I mean I like uh, when he brought it up earlier because you know we do talk about a little bit about like what we're going to talk about before we get here you yeah. know just to like have a understanding of where things could go and I started thinking when he asked me I was like yo like 
I think I might be more depressed than I've ever been. And I beat myself up when I'm alone and everything. And I'm like, I'm fighting. And I feel like, oh, like even saying it, I'm about, I'm kind of getting emotional. Like just honestly, like fighting for my life. You know what I mean? Really? And it's, yes, yes. And I find myself, you know, like I, I go to church and everything and I'm just trying to find something. Like, I mean, like I'm not here all the time. You know what I mean? We don't come in Monday through Friday. I have a lot more time. I'm auditioning and stuff now more so. And, you know, like ideas, it's like what makes me happy? Yeah. Like, what do I enjoy? Like, what's what what's my identity? Like, who am I? Like, I'm really going through it, y'all. Like, when you have, like, so many people watching you, you have to, you start to watch yourself more. And yeah. to the point where you judge yourself way more than what you ever, like, would have if you only had a couple people, you know, eyes mm -hmm. on you. But I, I honestly realize I am, like, I'm pushing through. I'm persevering. I take pride in perse like just persevering and moving forward. But, like, I am doing these things and, like, just because... I don't feel the best. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. I don't feel 100%. I'm trying to find it. I'm searching, y'all. I am searching. And the only way to, like, do, I'm doing something new. I used to make fun of people for hiking. And now I'm like, <laughs> yo, I see why people do it. I see why people work out. Remember, I will always say, like, I'm not working out for shit. I'm not doing this. Like, yeah. no, it's stupid. I didn't have to. Now my body's changing. Like, that's one thing. But, like, just the things that you're, that you're psyche and your mental, like, I have to do that for that. Yeah. Like, just going on the hikes. I get down like out the first day. Let me just start by the first day. The first day I did the hike, I had drank the day before. Just being transparent, being very transparent right now, guys. I drank the day before, and me and my homeboy from Ohio, Zach, we had the idea to go. And we had it for a week, like a couple weeks, but I just never did it. But this time, like, I ended up waking up, and I got a message from him. He said, yo, and this was like 30 minutes before we were supposed to go because I was going to bail. Like, I, <laughs> look, I was going to bail. Like, just straight up. I was like... I'm over. I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> like I'm dehydrated, and how like late, how late were you up the night before? Uh, I want to say two or three. So like, and then like, but this is the thing. He hit me up at ten thirty, so I can like okay. I can move and like you know make mm. things work. Like I'm a professional. He ended up like FaceTiming me like after like I seen a message and no, I FaceTimed him. And I was like, bro, you know, hopefully that he would like be like see my face. Like mm. okay, like he doesn't want to do it, but he was like, are we still doing it? I was like, yes. And I got up, I jumped up. And y'all, it was the worst decision of my life. <laughs> I was gonna die I was walking up there he brought his dog so we're going I'm like oh my god I just started walk, got out the car and I'm walking up this damn hill and my calves are on fire what is yeah. going on with me what happened and I'm guessing, <laughs> did you not and I'm guessing you probably didn't bring water you know I ain't bring water you know I brought wow. some soda no I'm playing I didn't oh, bring okay. soda <laughs> but I brought some water and I'm walking up and we start getting up there we stop he had to make a phone call he does like real estate or some stuff so like we stopped and we're talking I'm like well this is great this is great. We stop it. We're having a good time. I'm like on my phone, like face, like uh, Instagram and, you know, just, you know, making content. And then we started walking. But we go like up this like this steep ass hill and we walked up. It almost slipped. And I don't have good gym shoes, gym shoes, tennis shoes. What are they? Sneakers? I don't know. Mm -hmm. The hiking shoes. So like I kind of slipped and I was like, OK, we get up there like to this like weird area and we do push ups. I'm like, OK, this is cool. I shouldn't have did the push ups, y'all. Shouldn't have did the push-ups and I should have had water. Started walking. I'm like, okay, we're talking. After like five minutes into it, y'all, I felt the, the, the wind. It was hot. Then it got cold. <laughs> and then I was like, whoa. <laughs> I ain't never felt like this before. What's going on? What's going on? So I keep walking. I'm like, he looks back. He's like, Keith, are you okay? And I was like... No, <laughs> but we keep walking. I'm like, I'm gonna keep it going. I'm like hoping like somehow, some way he would see like he could tell that I wasn't good. And every like his dog wasn't either. His dog had like a f chinchilla fur on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, the dog had a full ass chinchilla fur. One second, fur. one second. Was like chinchilla <laughs> is the <laughs> finest fur according to Jay-Z. That's what I'm saying. The oh, dog you know had on chinchilla? Yes, yes, a whole chinchilla fur. So he's just panting. He's like, <laughs> I'm like, do you see your dog? Your dog's dying. Your dog's dying. <laughs> and we keep walking. He's like, are you okay? I'm like, no, don't ask me that again. Let's keep going. Like, if you're not going to ask me to go down, let's just keep going. <laughs> so we keep going. We got up there. Y'all, I felt like I was going to die. I didn't feel 
feel good. But like once, like I, you know how they tell you don't sit down, like and put your hands behind your head. Mm-hmm. Mm. Definitely sat down. Definitely Ooh. did not do that. I was that bad. Like I didn't feel like I was gonna make it, and I didn't have water. And I will never walk up a damn hill at all. I don't care what hill if it's just a hill like this that I just made. And I walk over this. I'm carrying some water with me. But did not feel good. Uh, but at the same time, at the end, I realized how much just like getting through it was for me. Like just moving, getting over the hill, y'all. Like honestly mm-hmm. getting over the hill and fighting for it. Key. Yeah. Because I did not feel good. I did not feel good and I, do, I don't feel good right now. Mm-hmm. So just being honest. Just so, so you know, I, I it doesn't matter how you get there. Okay. All that matters is that you make it to the other side because it's the climb. Is that Miley Cyrus? That's Miley Cyrus. I'm not I might have misquoted. You. I was serious. I almost cried and shit. Yeah. Quote. yeah. Also, <laughs> I can't even write that. <laughs> I mean, and, and plus if you keep doing the climb, like, it'll only get easier. Mm-hmm. Like, and it's and it's pretty it's pretty remarkable. Like, if you just keep committing to that, no. every single time is going to be easier than the last. Mm-hmm. And then... You know, maybe one day you'll run up that thing. Oh, I got to stop doing a few things for that. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I was going to ask you, did you did you end up passing out or just feeling like you're passing out? Oh, I felt like it. I was pretty close to it. Like, mm-hmm. I've never passed out, I don't think. I don't know. Dem- I pa- no, I passed out before. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk about it. But definitely passed out before, but definitely felt close to it. Mm-hmm. I did not feel good. My body was, like, hurting. Um, you know, don't do it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> don't How- how good did he feel after? Oh man, I felt good. I like I said, I realized why people do it. You know yeah. why people move forward. It's it's like beyond like working out is not only like a workout or a distraction. It is like it's a building like tool. You know, like it's one thing to distract yourself when you do stuff. You know, like yo, like you go through a breakup or something. Like yo, I'm gonna distract myself. Mm. But it's another thing to like distract and build at the same time. I'm building up my endurance. I'm building up uh, my calves. I got chicken legs. I don't know if y'all can see them. These are chickens. Oh, he really has chicken yeah. legs. But just like everything, you know, just like my body, you know, trying to lose some weight, but I'm gaining it. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. <sighs> it's okay. I'm hurt. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Hey. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing in this think, safe space. I think going back to like uh, you're saying that, you know, you're you. you're trying these new things because you're trying to like chase your happiness or yeah whatever. find it oh wow i think there's also a pressure online to not change mm. and you know you came into this whole thing as keith mm-hmm. four years ago or right. five years ago and the keith then is not the same keith as now exactly. but maybe maybe you've had this external pressure to stay who you were mm-hmm. before yeah for sure and th- th- you know that can cause a lot of internal strife. Yeah. Do you feel? Do you feel that way? You know, like, sometimes... do you feel like you're you can't like you're wondering like why you can't be a certain way or? Yeah, like that's like uh, yes, uh, you can't be a certain way. You can't do certain things. You got to watch your back. It's just a transitional period. Like, like having so much time. Like you, uh, not so much time, but more time to self. You you realize you have time to really like reflect on self. Like when I was working, I like I, I re- would reflect, but I didn't have time to like, like think. I like, yeah. I, but like really like think, like go into it. Now I have more time to think, and I like now that I have the the, the time. I'm fighting. I'm like, okay, like let's move forward. Let's move forward. However, I got to get there. I'm gonna get there. I just got to keep mo- moving. I got to keep living. You know what I mean? But like definitely all those things. Yes, definitely. Be transparent. Mm. Mm. Like your glasses. Thank you. I like yours. Thanks. Yeah. Can, no, okay. <laughs> this is one thing I always tell you. Noah has really nice eyes. They're green. Yo, so like when Noah works... Tra- you trying to you trying, trying to change, change subject? No, no. <sighs> Keith, we're talking about Wait, you. Wait, wh- I was having a compliment. I liked it. Okay, sorry. Okay, so like Noah has Finish really nice eyes. Finish the compliment, then we're yeah. back to Keith. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have really nice eyes, right? Take off your glasses. Watch how big and nice his eyes are. I don't know. I might have a unibrow. No, you don't. It's, no, it's, no. It's, Unibrows are in. Are it's they? Okay. Look at this. Look at those. Like, and do it like sexy eyes. I don't. I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> Give me one of these smirks. Yeah. Um, for the audio listeners, um, right now Noah's giving some just sexy looks. Is that what I did with my lips? With off. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sorry. Good job. I okay. Felt like... That's beautiful. Mm, thanks. <laughs> but here we go. What's up? Keith, 
You ever thought about going to therapy? Yes. Uh, I, at one point, I uh, know I talked to Ryan about this. Ryan just knows too much. Ryan, why do we all talk to you about everything? <laughs> dude, uh, Ryan, Ryan's a great dude. He's a great guy. Uh, I think I had like a breakdown, I want to say, like two years ago. How long ago? It was about a year and a half ago, two years ago at the office in uh, Beverly Hills at Defy. And it was like, it was rough. Like, I just could not get out of my own way. And y'all, like, I really, like, I, I deal so much. I'm very here. And I just remember having a breakdown. And even Ryan, like, I was like, I came to the conclusion that I needed to go to therapy. And I'm, like, talking about it. And I would say, like, I'm, I need to go to therapy. I need to do this. I, I need to do that. Like, understanding that I, it was time, you know? Like, yeah, uh, yeah. just understanding it was time. And Ryan said to me, and it stuck with me. And at the time, it didn't hit me, but until, like, over time, I'm like, I should have went. He said, he said, but you're the type of person that won't go because you understand that you need to go. He said something like that, and I was like, dang, like, that actually was what it was. Like, Brian has been around the block, and he sees people <laughs> for, he honestly, sleep, he sees people's soul, and for him to see my soul and just know, like, I'm over here, like, yeah, I need to go, like, breaking down. I just need to go to therapy. I need to, like, you know, talk to someone. I need, like, I need some help. And he was like, yeah, but, like, he said, you know, you said that's good. Like, definitely go, definitely go. But you're not going to go because, like, you, you already, you know, you're here, you hmm. know? So I need to go. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I definitely need to go now. <laughs> there was a time, look, I'm not necessarily breaking down, but like sometimes I, I think I've told Noah this. Uh, when I'm by myself, I find myself, um, I'm very like positive yeah. and optimistic. And yeah. I believe that anything that I want, I will have. And anything that I say, like I'm all about that whole, you know, it's how I grew up. Always had support around me. Like there are people that don't have support, y'all, and that don't have like a support system. My family's a very big support system in my life. I like look at my nephew right now. He has the same mm -hmm. support system. I'm like, yo, this is how they work for me. Everything starts at home. But even beyond that, like having your, um, I lost my train of thought. One second. One You're far second. from home. Definitely far from home. Don't have anybody here, but dang, I lost my train you of thought. You were talking about go. how, like, you're a very positive person who believes things come with you, but when you're alone. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, like, I, I'm very positive, uh, very optimistic. I get on Noah all the time because he can be a little, you know. I'm cynical as fuck. Cynical. Noah's very cynical, and that drives me nuts. Mm. And I <laughs> don't think that I'm cynical or anything now, but, like, I've just, uh, when I'm by myself, I see, I've started talking out loud and saying negative things to myself. Mm. And that has never, ever, mm. ever been a thing. And I'm like, yo, where did this come from? Like, who's, like, spirit or whatever that I know around Mine. me? No, <laughs> no, no, no. But, like, who's, like, whatever, like, who got on me? Like, mm. where is this coming from? Mm. And I'm like, I, I, I have no ideas. But, like, whenever I find myself saying some of the nastiest things to myself, and it's not even, like, nasty, nasty. It's just, like, wrong to, like, say right. certain things about yourself yeah. to yourself by yourself. It's, like, some crazy shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a therapist. <laughs> Who out there? Like, <laughs> I need a thorough pause. <laughs> I need a thorough pause. Uh, <laughs> I need some therapy. But like, when you say those things to yourself, I, I correct myself and I stand corrected. And I always be like, no, like this is not what it is. That's not true. That's not true because you you shall have what you say, y'all. So make sure that you're speaking positive affirmations over your life. I mean, like the cliche, y'all. The cliche is a cliche because everybody like goes through it cliche is not a bad thing it can be but like if somebody's giving you some advice sometimes you don't want to just take advice from everybody but sometimes when you get some like sh just like yo like this is what it is like oh that's the cliche like you want more like stop looking for more that's yeah. it is what it is it's simple but it's so difficult at the same time I'm just here, y'all. You know, you see me just over here, like going balance. I'm a Libra too, so I'm like, woo. <laughs> I don't know what that means. What a Libra. Libra? I don't know what any of those mean. Oh, uh, you. Oh, like uh, okay. So like we're very we're about balance. Mm -hmm. So you know, like I'll be saying one thing and I'll be like positive, but then I'll come negative. Oh, and, like, okay. You know, so I'll do that. Um, we're caring. We're loving. I'm just about to give you all the good things. I yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to talk about the bad okay. things. Okay, I just not... feel like those apply to hopefully everyone. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. See, this is a problem with him because he like. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. Like, I'll be having fun, like, with something and he'll be like, okay, but, you know, like, what about this? Or like, what about like, it's just like. Too <laughs> hey, much. what if you stopped having fun with that? Right. Idea? Like, let me live. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You never let me live. I'm sorry. Good Lord. Sorry. Look, we just made it about some other. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I think I'm generally a positive, optimistic person. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yesterday, like I was, I didn't, I didn't come into the shoot until like three in the afternoon, and that wasn't until I was called. Normally, I'm I'm coming into the office at nine a.m. Yeah. every single day, and then it was just because the shoot was was later. Mm -hmm. I had all this extra time, right? And I was like getting in my head and. Mm. And was just like thinking these kind of like negative things Ugh. and like doubting, here, doubting my whole sort of like place in, you know, in work and in life. Yeah. And yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a scary place to be. And then, you know, I came here and then, and then started working on stuff and I felt a lot better. But, yeah. But it's that, it's that kind of thing where it sounds like you're probably very similar where, you know, you, when you're just alone in your own thoughts, mm -hmm. that's when you just you start stewing in it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, yeah, obviously like positive affirmations, if that helps totally. But, oh, for sure. But you got to ask, do you know the root cause of these thoughts? And are you actually yeah, 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 going yeah. after them? Oh, for sure. For sure. Yes. By all means, like every, yes, yes. You yeah. know? And I think understanding where like a lot of things come from and like knowing that I need therapy because of certain specific situations, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Just knowing that it's like frightening. Yeah. It's very frightening, y'all. And like also in the black community, we do not yeah. We do not go get therapy. I think I told my dad, my dad's a minister, and he's, I think he's changed his, he's definitely changed his uh, his viewpoints now, but I told him, like, uh, right after a conversation with Ryan, the breakdown, I had a meltdown, guys. Mm -hmm. You guys would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. But had a meltdown, and, like, what my dad and I ended up talking to my dad about, and I was like, yo, like, dad, I need to go to therapy. And he's just like... He said, just pray. <laughs> and I'm, yeah. Like, honestly, yeah. honestly, just said that. He said that to me. And I'm thinking, like, no, that's the problem. That is the problem. Yeah. I can, Why can't I pray and go to therapy? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I get it. Like, I get it. I grew up that way. That is that is uh, uh, energy that I go to, that I reach out to. You know what I mean? Hands up. Like, I will go there. Like, that's easy for me to do. Therapy, I need to talk to somebody. Like, yeah. I need to talk to somebody. And it's so funny that I say this now because, like, just a couple weeks ago, my dad ended up saying, you know, I kind of went off on him. And, like, I ended up getting off the phone. I'm like, I what I'm talking to you about. Like, you like you need to go to therapy, obviously. <laughs> but then he ended up writing on Facebook. He's My dad has, like, changed into, like, I don't know what has happened to him. But, like, just the things that he posts on Facebook right now it's just so positive and he said yo beyond the church like the church needs therapy we we need to like go seek like counseling and like therapy and all that I was like whoa like a year and a half ago you just tell me to pray you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. and yeah. I like and I did <laughs> mm -hmm. and I did that you mm -hmm. know what I mean but like for him to say that and just come around it just I don't know I guess parents do kind of hear their kids out too mm -hmm. yeah I mean there, there's certain there's certain communities that are that it's you know, mental health is stigmatized mm -hmm. where it's like seen as a as a sign of weakness. Yes, for sure. And I mean, for for a long time, I saw it the same way. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. like therapy. What are you mm. crazy? Exactly. And and I mean, even even after I you know accepted the fact that like you're you don't have to be having problems to mm -hmm. go to therapy, it still took me a, a long time and a few sort of like cataclysmic events yeah. to decide to finally go yeah so i mean it's it's a it's a process and mm -hmm. you can only go once you feel like you can but mm -hmm. you know we're all rooting for you that's the, oh thank you we're, we were all rooting for you so i'm on the other team <laughs> <laughs> oh no you cynical i don't know what team that is but i'm on that team <laughs> oh no no thank you though i really appreciate you guys, that you guys complete each other we yeah. are like i love this guy I Thank love you. I love you. you too, bro. I love you. I've been through a lot of life with you. Yeah, like car accidents. Thing. Yeah, I still hurt from those. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah. I should have sued you. Oh, you know, <laughs> instead of a therapist, see a chiropractor. <laughs> yes. Can y'all? Can you pay for that? No. No. Okay. I wish I could. Good lord, you definitely asked me. You said, "Yo, do you need like anything?" Yeah, mm -hmm. you set it up. You're good. Well, uh, dude, I had to. I was already getting sued by the other people. Mm -hmm. I should look. I should have <laughs> took a piece of that cake. Oh, there was none left. There's none left. <laughs> well, I'm glad I did. Yeah, like, seriously, that's thank what you. friends are for. Yeah, really, not to sue you. I mean, talking about change. I mean, holy sh Noah, we got you when you were 17. Mm. Oh God. Like we, <laughs> we like you came into Smosh when you were literally a minor. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I technically illegally signed the contract. No, you were legal 18. I, I was legal 18, but I don't think in 
the the contract asked for a parental you signature. You see what I'm talking about? Did your parents not sign it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think I signed it illegally. I, I mean, <laughs> it would have it would have stood, but like thinking back on the very first like moments of working there, I definitely did not. There's a section that's missing on the contract. Oops. <laughs> well, why did you sign it? You're a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> I was being a loose criminal. Well, because at first, at first, uh, in in the contract, I was going to leave at two years and then go to school, but I still didn't want to be a lawyer. So I was like, I'm gonna stick it out. There's I'm gonna keep time. doing comedy. I so like it. So your your plan was almost like you went on like a like you were planning on going almost like a Mormon mission. You leave for two years. Essentially, you leave high school for two years. Do do your mission and then and then go off to college. Yeah, that was kind the plan. of. Yeah, <laughs> just because and yeah. I mean the whole the whole setup at Defy was really great and also like really hard in certain situations. So. I definitely fought so that I could at least get out of the contract that I was signing just because it was a four-year contract and not knowing what I was going to get into. Um, but the only way that I could have an out was in order to go to school. And if I made it so that if I did, I would have to go to school full-time and I'd have to, like, send them <laughs> my schedules every week and, like, all of my homework assignments couldn't be posted online. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, some whack stuff, yeah. But it still was enough for me to be, like, okay. And also convince my parents, which I would have done it anyway. That it was okay that I was like not going to school, yeah. so at least there was still a school. If Kim Kardashian option. can do it, you can too. Let's Thank just you. say that you can still go back to school. Oh, she went and back. Still do comedy. Oh, she doing She's law going school to be a right lawyer. now. Yeah, wow. that's amazing. You can do it too. I might that's do that. Do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once I have that much money, are you thinking about going back to school? Um, not currently. No. Okay. I mean, to some degree, the the schooling that I'm doing now is more like in improving my comedy tools and yeah, more so making myself more better more better more better making like myself more better yeah uh, but i'm showing i should read a book that's um, <laughs> but yeah I, at some point i would more like better. to yeah i guess the the only option would be like online school which is what shane did which is awesome but yeah. shane, also it takes school? a long time he's finishing up this year oh damn but yeah. he's been doing online school since since him. i've known him yeah like since i've known him well, back like the like first... way back then. Oh my god! Like he was he was working towards it, and I'm sure like different levels of like degrees and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But yeah, no. yeah, he's getting it. It takes he's, a long time. He's uh he's graduating. That's also because uh, he's successful though. Like mm-hmm. he could have done it quicker, but he was too busy like being a successful actor mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. and being really funny Shane and still having his shit together. Work. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I don't mm-hmm. I, I don't know Shane. how he yeah. how he does it all. I love him because he does he does Smosh, he does Goldbergs, mm-hmm. and he's going to school. It's insane. Yeah. But it just kind of shows, like, if, I mean, there's always, you know, a lot of times, like, you can make excuses about, like, oh, I don't have time to do this. There's always time. Mm -hmm. You just have to find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Freaking Shane, man. Hold on. How are you, bro? Oh, yeah. We have not asked you. How are you? How are you? Oh, I don't answer questions. (laughs) Oh, why not? How are you? That's that's an honest Uh, question. Come on. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been interesting. It's been... It's been an interesting, like, uh, I don't know, six, seven months. Mm-hmm. It's weird because, I mean, yeah, I've always kind of been one of the leaders in Smosh, but I was, mm-hmm. but I've never had to be a leader. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so that's that's been interesting because I've always been I've always been I'm more of a of a follower type. I'm always more of a watch where other people f- up and then mm-hmm. and then improve on that. Oh, can I ask you, did you not feel, did you, so you, you didn't know that you were a leader? You didn't know that that was like your position? Because I think that's us coming into it. That's we, you know, we expected leadership. You know what I mean? From you. Yeah. I I think, you know, going, going into this new venture, I knew I had to take this position because nobody else could. So it was kind of like a, it was just kind of like my duty to yeah. to be in this position, but it's it's not. I, I never I never had like an aspiration to be like the boss yeah. and mm-hmm. telling people what to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's I I'm always I'm more of a I'm definitely more of a diplomat mm. than I am. You know, a you policy know, I, maker. I, I sort of like I sort of like <laughs> I take know. in take in everybody's like <laughs> thoughts and feelings about everything mm-hmm. and then and then sort of formulate my own yeah. my own opinion based off of that mm-hmm. to be in this position it's it's kind of like i don't know like i i i i sometimes struggle with the fact that like is this something that i'm not equipped for or oh, is this wow. or is this uh impo- you're, you're imposter definitely syndrome equipped. yeah you uh i really have to say this bro i used to like honestly i'm gonna be transparent with you brother and uh i was i kind of held resentment toward you for a little bit 
because I didn't feel that you um, you led us in the beginning. You know what I mean? And, I, and you saying this makes me feel so much better because you didn't know. You mm-hmm. honestly didn't know. And I, I was like, why isn't he, like, showing us the ropes? Like, what is he like? But you honestly didn't know that was your your thing. Or, like, nobody knew. None of us knew what the f- we were mm-hmm. doing, bro. <laughs> and I'm just I over mean, here like, where's either. our, like, what we don't, mm-hmm. you know, nobody knew. And, like, you saying this, bro, I'm so glad because I just, like, a part of me is, like, at peace. Mm-hmm. Knowing that, like, you didn't know. You yeah, know, like yeah. I'm over here like, yo, like help, you know, without asking for help because nobody's going to be like help. Mm-hmm, but yeah. like at the same time, like you were you're like, I'm just glad I asked you that because I, mean, I just got some peace. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, I would have loved for you to ask for help. Mm-hmm. I mean, like the thing is, you know, nobody's a mind reader and mm-hmm. we don't know when people are struggling until they tell us or until mm-hmm. they're having a mental breakdown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah. it's, that's, that's also like one of those, one of the issues that, that I'm dealing with is just everybody's, everybody's struggling with something yeah. and, but not everybody wants to just tell you flat out. Mm-hmm. They might go complain to somebody else and then mm-hmm. you hear through somebody else that somebody else is having a problem. You're mm-hmm. like, oh, sh- sh- what? Mm-hmm. So that's that's been kind of that's been kind of an interesting thing we're dealing with. But yeah, I mean, look, we we don't know what we're doing. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. that's that's the mm-hmm. that's the beauty and and problem with YouTube. It's like nobody knows mm-hmm. nobody knows what's going on. Like we're we're all just adapting. We're mm-hmm. just we're just changing on the fly you know right. something changes on youtube we're like oh okay yeah yeah all Change right let's, let's do that yeah mm-hmm. so i mean you know our our goal was to was to always bring on people and develop them into these like youtubers you mm-hmm. know like or you know develop them as as talent or as writers mm-hmm. or as producers and and sort of build it up we didn't have a playbook for that right. because mm-hmm. Nobody on YouTube has ever done that. So mm-hmm. first, like, like uh, how many YouTube channels have changed, have changed talent? Nobody. Wow, I just yeah. got chills. I just <laughs> got chills. That's what we used to talk about. That we, we were the did. guinea pigs. We were the, the guinea pigs, and it's like future hit, of bro, the industry. History, yeah. history. We I'm very thankful. Part of, yeah. yeah, I mean, we're all guinea pigs. I mean, this is like we've when when Anthony and I started on YouTube, there was straight no, up there was no playbook. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's it's constantly evolving. So <laughs> no, like I really yeah. think that's why. Like I yeah. didn't know that that's the answer that I would get. Mm. You know, and I just it just a light went off in my head, and I'm like, oh my god, like mm. you know what I mean? Like, f- yeah, good lord, like you didn't know. You mm. honestly didn't yeah. know. Yeah, I mean, because you guys all have your specific talents and stuff, and we always wanted to try to find out what that is and sort of like raise it up because. Mm. We all come from different backgrounds, and I think that that's one of the cool things that that we're able to do with with our sort of like ensemble of people is like my hope was that you're able to bring in people from like different life experiences and then and then use those experiences to elevate the comedy because yes. mm-hmm. we you know there's only so much comedy that that I can make from my perspective exactly mm-hmm. so so yeah I mean that that was always that was always the goal. Mm-hmm. No, thank you for saying that, brother. Mm-hmm. Like it just it definitely like put so much peace in my head of like concerning like yeah just it all like yeah. the whole experience for like the past like almost it was, five it was years a, now. Yeah, it was a rough place where we were, and that's like once once it all went down, that's definitely like where I started to get my peace from it too, because like it's very difficult to not hold and not even like resentment at specific people, but the entire system and how it was structured mm. was that at which on every level people were given different jobs that they had to do under mm-hmm. different terms and then they were forced to interact without the management that was technically everyone's boss correctly interacting because like for for me technically I was working for Defy and then lease to you guys but I was like with you guys every day and that's where I was working but I was still under different terms with a different chain of consequences and command that I had to go through yeah along with you guys having to deal with kind of just rich assholes who didn't really know what they were doing <laughs> but were gladly just taking the money out from us so we couldn't really produce things or correctly invest in what we wanted to do on all fronts so yeah it was just like a, a big <laughs> hole and i realized that once once it all <laughs> crumbled that it was like oh it wasn't one specific person <laughs> like everyone was trying to survive in yes, this just horrible every, horrible yeah, horrible place it's i mean it's it's hard to adapt as i as loved a, the people that i worked with and i mean legitimately everyone that i met and yeah. even the people who like i would say like oh you drove this company into the ground like <laughs> i would gladly sit at dinner with them and i know that sounds weird but it's cuz they were so nice to me legitimately mm-hmm. it's just the entire time like 
I don't know what was going on. We just had no money. Uh, and the, I know that I didn't have it. My thing is, what the <laughs> f*** do we need to sit down and talk about? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. They're nice you... cars. <laughs> like, Whoa, maybe. could I sit in that once? <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow it? Hey, like, you remember that time that you couldn't provide... No, uh, never mind. We're not well, going to do that. Well, no, I mean, we can, we're not going to do that. We can cut it out if it's if it's too if it's too. I feel bad. I've just been a uh, fine. I'm getting a nod from Ryan. Okay, fine. Okay, so I guess we'll just go back. I guess I guess we'll just go down a list of things that I feel okay with now because I've had to. Oh my god. Um, but I guess list number one would be part timers. When we were working on part timers, we did 22 episodes, which oh, was yeah. supposed to be 44 episodes. But I guess first gripe is number one, and obviously it's not up to you because I don't work for you. I worked for a different company that owned you, and it creates a very strange relationship that's difficult on everyone, mm -hmm. which is like something that you don't understand until you work in a place that's got bureaucracy, how much that is the weight and stress of every day on everyone. But I was supposed to be paid, and not much money. For 22 episodes, I was supposed to walk away with like $3,000, which 15% would leave me. Okay, all good, and then taxes. Doesn't matter. But it was like, okay, this is great for me to be off and doing something that's super fun, getting to work on the project, yeah. which was great. The second season rolls around. First off, I never got paid at all, even though they told me I was getting paid. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> But the bigger issue is that the second season comes around. Yeah, apart from me not getting paid when I was supposed to. The second season comes around and they didn't provide lunch for the crew. It was a walk-off lunch. Yeah. And I know if uh... I'm not getting paid my $100 day rate, like how much money is the crew getting? And now they have to go off and buy their own lunch. And the first off, I have to sit there as a cast member and eat lunch because I get lunch for the eight of us because it's like, obviously we need lunch. Because I have people who represent me and will, like, make this a bigger hole than it already is because mm -hmm. you're not paying me. You know, like, yeah. I want to be a part of this. Everyone does. But you're making it hard for everyone who wants to be a part of this. Yeah. So the crew has to walk off, whatever. The only day when everyone got lunch, it was when uh, uh, the executive producers were coming by, which is normal that you would do this on a set, mm. that when the executive producers come by, you're going to have the nicest food possible. But normally people are eating every day. Mm. But no, the one day everyone got to eat, it was freshly grilled steaks out in <laughs> front of you. Like, it was a big big show like it was nuts and the producers come by and they're like wow this is a great place well they really are putting their stuff into it and then they leave and no one's eating and i was just like man that's such a rough position for me because i'm friends with these people i'm friends with otto who made the cake cannon like i'm friends with and i'm watching them leave as i'm eating my sandwich every day it felt so bad but overall that experience was fun so yeah. minus that, <laughs> it's just really hard to like feel great about things yeah when like you're like oh this company and then like one of the producers who once again really good friends with him I'm uh, not gonna I'm name not him sure about to say. cause I like him he's yeah. actually a fun personable person he's just mm. also someone that is willing to watch people not eat lunch and then at the end buy a new Audi and it's like where did you get that new Audi was that off of your salary for this one project or like have you been saving you don't owe me an explanation but maybe don't <laughs> drive it here <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I remember oh, that. Oh, good lord. That's But rough. like, they're really I mean, great was... people and people that I would love to work with again and not even just because I need a job because they're yeah. actually like fun people. They're just also like so in the thick of the bullshit because it's like they're also in the system. It's not like they're the one who designed it. They're dealing with their own bullshit. Right. They're just also not right. helping think, the people below them yeah, lift the ladder. I think that was also just an issue of people being used to TV budgets and mm -hmm. whatnot having to adjust to a YouTube budget. And I just don't think they did the right accounting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bro, there should have been a documentary happening of us producing that show because we shot, I want to say- There was some cool stuff. There's some cool stuff with that show. Like I I, I think there was, some, there was some good stuff that came out of it. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, just the fact that like, we didn't build a set. Mm -hmm. We rented like a whole- Party building planning or, and or turn, ex movie theater turned wedding planning studio. Yeah, we what? turned a whole building <laughs> into like a fake Chuck E. Cheese. Mm -hmm. It was kind of dope. Yeah. Like they definitely didn't. Uh, I don't know if they did it to permit because they were just like cutting holes in the ceiling and putting in lights and stuff. They didn't. And well, they definitely <laughs> didn't because uh, season two ended and we didn't want to do another, we were on, we were supposed to do season three and four. We convinced YouTube to, instead of doing that for us to do ghost mates. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah, I do remember. uh, so after season two, we were like, okay, we don't want to do season three and four. I ran into the, one of the producers and, and she, she didn't know at the time that we weren't going to do it. And she was like, yeah, um, did you hear it? Like it, it rained and uh, the whole building flooded and it ruined everything. And I was like, 
Oh no! <laughs> yes. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. But I think it was flooded because they cut those holes in the ceiling. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it was not a good building prior. But we had an entire freaking ball pit. Yes. We had a giant. We built a <laughs> giant ball pit that we had no idea what to do with all the mm-hmm. ball pit balls afterwards. We're like, does anyone want ball pit balls? Because that's like the most disgusting. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But they would sanitize uh, them. They would take them and they would sanitize them every now and then. It's cool. I just don't want to be up in no balls, dude. That place. That was like a vacation. That experience. That was that was wild, man. We shot it out in Santa Clarita, bro. We shot about all of that. Literally shot eleven full episodes, eleven like twenty minute episodes in I think thirteen days. It was wild, and man. then the the second season was maybe fourteen days. Like it was a total of thirty days at yeah. most to produce twenty two episodes. That's all, ridiculous. It was, it was a lot of content. All I remember is you not being at the office and like my light was a little dimmed because oh. you were there. Oh, I thought you were about to say it was a lot easier to get along with <laughs> no, everyone. No, <laughs> no, like I get along with everybody, yeah, yeah. but it was just like, where's oh, my friend? Thanks, bro. I need my friend. I need my... Mm. Yeah. It was super fun. I remember. Oh my gosh, it would work the mornings and then work the nights, and I would just sleep in the middle, and then I'd go home and I'd wake up and I'd do it again, and it was so fun. Yeah, it was a good. It was a good like. Just like distraction from from the usual thing, and I think that that you know it's one of those things where we realize like oh the fun this is like a fun sort of like diversion from the normal day to day YouTube stuff. Also, I think we had the best ki- way of killing off a character, mm-hmm. <laughs> which was right after you shared a romantic first kiss mm-hmm. with. Um, <laughs> you the can character. still see the wire in this shot, by the way. Yeah. I mean, you know, again, limited budget, but uh, uh, we killed off a character in probably one of my favorite ways, and I think it was, I, I don't, I don't want to take credit for it, because, I mean, there's so many other people that wrote on it, but, um, so you guys have a kiss, whatever, uh, she falls off a building, right after you guys have a romantic kiss, she trips on some rags or something, and uh, falls back off the building, lands on the ground, mm-hmm. and you're like, oh my god, she's dead. And you look over and she's like, she's like, oh, I'm okay. I just landed on some rags. And then a car runs her over right afterwards. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and it's actually pretty funny because they do the shot of like the bumper of the car. Like it's kind of some scary movie shit yeah. where it's just the camera coming out and she's just like, <laughs> It's pretty funny. Oh my yeah. God. I, I have to say, like, I think we killed off a character in one of the funniest ways. Mm-hmm. That's good. You That's wanna good. know what the best part of part timers is? What's that? Uh the director and uh, uh not the DP, but one of our camera operators are now married. Laura and Hunter are married. Laura the director and uh Hunter, who I think I don't I don't know what the, what? the rules would be, but he wasn't the director of photography, but I think he was like first cam op. I don't know if there's an order. <laughs> you think that's where they met? Whoa. No, that is where they met. <laughs> are and you now they're married. Me? They're wow. married. We made that a connection? Is where they met. Yes. That's beautiful. Both of them were the best, and Laura is mm. is like totally female director killing the game right now. Like oh, she's, really? Yes. She's like got articles about her. She's doing a whole bunch of stuff. I want to say she like directed an episode of Broad City or something like that. I don't Ooh. know. But I could be lying. Go ahead. Um, but like general comedy stuff, and she's like all out here making sure all of her sets are all women. Like she's oh, doing like it. she's like she's the she's it. it. Yeah, she's killing. Oh, it. that's incredible. Yeah. that's and incredible. then she's got her husband like filming like oh, on the Lord. set. It's perfect. It's oh. really cool. Oh. Yeah. They just got married. <laughs> like everybody, hold on. she has a whole like like women. She has a one a woman crew, uh, crew full of one crew full of uh, fit. I cannot crew to fit with the women. She has a crew filled with women, but like her husband's the only guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, even all her male actors are female. <laughs> yes, mm-hmm. I'm with it. So guys, we're 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 almost running up on our time. Ooh. So I just want to ask one one last question. How do you think your dreams have changed in the last four years? I don't remember them uh, as much. Um, like I was saying, like transitional period. The transition for me is realizing also that my dreams haven't changed and I have to continue forward like with what I've already created. You know what I mean? Like things change, ideas change. I could want to do more stuff, but the foundation of it is honestly still the same. It's the same. Like, uh, Although, like we said, Keith has changed. Like you're not the same. I am. And that's, I think, running from like what I was doing before, you know, and not trying to like, like from the, like the parodies and everything, I've got so let down, like within the like last few months, like, 
And then I was like, I don't want to do that anymore. And I'm like, what should I do? Like, what should I do? Should I do like this type of sketch comedy? Should I do the pair? Do all the shit that I've been doing. Like, if, when you start changing stuff, I mean, you can add on to it, but the, the the foundation of it has to be consistent. And like, I'm glad that I just found that out two days ago. Oh. Like, I had a meeting with my manager, and I wish we were just discussing like different things and different ideas. And I started like pitching him ideas for stuff, and he was just like writing them down, like just trying to grasp hold. He's like, how many people we need? for this how many just a whole thing and i'm like whoa i just gotta do it i just have to do it just yeah. do the work yeah ain't shit changed ain't shit changed but uh uh i was gonna say something so wrong <laughs> continue <laughs> just <laughs> say say we can cut it out no that's so not, funny was, no no, no it's not worth say, it okay i was gonna no. say ain't shit changed but the size of my dick because it's cold <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's funny. That's not as bad that's, as I thought. That's, that's probably really not going to make it right. I thought fun. you were going to say something extremely racist. So no, that's okay. no, 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 <laughs> no. A sh- changed by me getting fired from SNO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just say something horrible right now so when I'm like 45, I can f*** myself. Yeah, do, okay. like, do it, do it, do it. Okay. <laughs> like, um, I'm here for this. Yeah, except, wait, nobody would ever say those things. <laughs> <laughs> nobody would ever say those things and say that that's really a joke if anyone listened to those sentences that this man has said. You talking about the SNL guy? Yeah, I think his yeah. name's like Shane something with a G. Mm, that's that's much less funny, Shane. We already forgot about him. <laughs> Is yeah. he he's yeah, that thankfully. canceled? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't well, Bro, I, don't I wouldn't know. even say canceled. Like, he just has a consequence for what he did. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wasn't canceled. He didn't, he didn't there was a time. consequence. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, if you make those statements publicly and then go on a show <laughs> that just now is hiring their first Asian person, uh, yeah, you probably yeah. are not going to stay there. No. Technically, Ron Schneider was the first Asian castmate. Really? Mate. Oh. He's Filipino. This is the second one. Oh, okay. But every, but, but it seems <laughs> I don't like mean to speak for anyone else. Yeah, but I guess... <laughs> They've got a lot of Jews there. <laughs> love it. You really love it. You guys are killing the game. <laughs> <laughs> they got like two black people. <laughs> yeah, but Keenan's been there for a long time. Oh, uh, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I love Keenan, by the way. He's great. So your your dream's still the same. Be it's like, still honestly like the Mike. same. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like Mike. Have yeah, you guys ever seen that movie? I love that movie. Okay, hold on. I gotta be honest, y'all. Like, I ate some hot sh- last night and my stomach is burning dude so, i had uh, jack in the box tacos and fries listen hold you. on i if i could prairie dog i couldn't that's what i'm saying it's just <laughs> oh coming god. out as yeah, liquid yeah, yeah. no because so, the back half is, is softer than the front oh half. my god yeah, yeah so your like, body's made of could cloth we, could we wrap this up yeah <laughs> wrap it for sure wrap it like <laughs> oh, oh my dreams i'll answer the question too. did you my like dreams. the paper oh, yeah. toilet paper yeah i like the wrapping <laughs> hurry uh, up okay uh, uh my dreams i guess i didn't really have many dreams beforehand now i don't know if i've got huge dreams that i got like more like like daydreams, just like really fun ideas that I enjoy to make. And if there's stuff going on, I like to improve it. I enjoy being able to help make things better and at least stand behind something. Like a lot of the Smosh content I've ever worked on, my favorite thing to say is that I could teach PowerPoints on it, which is what mm-hmm. I like to say about all my content. I don't care if you like it or not, but I'll gladly sit here and be like, oh no, this is a conversation that was had and why it was had and why we're saying like these five specific words instead of like these other five specific words. And this is technically a joke whether or not you like it, but we set it up in a structure that is actually comedy versus kind of just random ideas being jumbled together. Mm-hmm. So with that is super fun. And that I would credit to to my experience here. And I got to say, Ryan Trinity, who's off to my left, that dude is captain teacher of, of life and, and skill mm-hmm. and ability. That mm-hmm. person get get you one. Captain teacher. I, captain teacher. I, yeah, that's captain I, teacher. <laughs> captain teacher Ryan. Y'all don't have to duke anymore. So take your well, time. All right. <laughs> that, well, I finished. You finished? Okay. Yeah. So I'm sorry for you. <laughs> Good Lord. <laughs> that was a lot. I started sweating. I had to take off the headphones. Do you poop more than once a day? It depends on the day. Okay. Well, no, and Keith, <laughs> thank you so much Sorry. for coming on. Of uh, course. Wow, we dug deep, guys. Yes, mm-hmm. this we is did. like this was a freaking, this was a this is a deep one. I don't know if we've ever I don't know if we've ever gone this deep before. Ooh, deep in the six. We haven't even gone this deep in just like normal real life. This is the deepest we've ever gone. <laughs> <laughs> there's like oh there's God. depth here. Keith and I have gone so deep into Rihanna versus Beyonce. <laughs> <Well, with this. laughs> that is no, that is Olivia. Yeah, this, I know. This I was just thing. making a joke. No one, I don't have. Uh, okay, we're not we're wrapping it up yeah. for another we'll, time. We'll get, we'll, for another time. For another <laughs> yeah, time. <good> uh, <laughs> <laughs> and thank you guys so much for listening and yes. watching. Uh, you can listen to us on any of the podcast apps, or you can watch us on the Smoshcast YouTube. Also, um, you guys got to get this Smosh Slush Cult collab while it's Ooh, still here because it's going fast. It's People are just snatching this stuff up fast. Uh, we got hats, we got hoodie, we got the shirt right here. We got stickers, we got pins. We do have socks coming. 
they're on their way. Mm-hmm. But they're so, fly. So look yes. out for those socks. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. fly, fly. That was the one thing that I asked for. They were like, you get one <laughs> thing. I was like, I want those socks. And we're like, they sorry. only gave you one thing. No, we can give you guys. We can give you guys everything. Guess no, no. I was saying my original conversation. That's what I was recounting. I didn't get a separate email. Sorry, where I could get more items. That's what okay, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, yes. you only got one because I got no. like, I was like all the, of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stingy. Like, yeah. Um, you get twenty uh, percent off. Right? I'm sorry, left foot or right foot? Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. Of course, yeah. bro. Hey, anytime. Uh, this was this was really great. Yay. Thank you. Feel good. Do you guys feel good? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I always I'm, feel good here. I'm just putting it out there. If anybody's doing free therapy sessions. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh the worst. God. It is the worst. No, this I, is, this is not a joke. Therapy. Actually, like, thank God, because of where we are, you can go to the LGBTQ Center, whether or not you identify, and they will give you help or find you a resource legitimately okay. for free. It's the closest thing to health care that we have. Okay. Also, there's a there's a website resource that I can, that I can send you. And really? A lot That's of cool. therapists will do sliding scale okay. based, based on your income. Okay. That's cool. Cool. Yeah. Ooh. It's also some fact out there for you guys. Hell Ooh. yeah, go get therapy, therapy y'all. Therapy isn't always really expensive. Sometimes it is, but it's not always. <laughs> you can look Woo. into it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Woo.